a lot of people are losing interest in cryptocurrencies. I'm not selling, it's about to really take off here. But a lot of the interest is moving to some of the meme stocks like AMC, like GameStop. Are those things about to end? Is that whole short squeeze thing about to end? We have the government looking in to regulate it. We're gonna be talking about Ethereum and Shiba Inu. You cannot miss this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Miles and I make videos every day about Dogecoin and talk about cryptocurrencies. I teach you all how to do technical analysis so you can make a lot of money on your own in cryptos. So if you wanna learn how to make a lot of money and stay up to date with the latest and greatest news of cryptos, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these time sensitive videos. I'm also giving away 200 Doge to one lucky winner this Saturday. I will be announcing it on my Instagram story. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and Twitter, and put something in the comments below. And if you want to get my daily trade signals for cryptocurrencies, join the Patreon, which is linked in the description below where you can join the Discord and check out my other services that can help you make money in this market. And if you love cryptocurrencies, you love AMC, go ahead and show your support. Hit that like button so we can break the algorithm, get this video out there. And let me know in the comments below, how long do you think this AMC short squeeze is gonna continue? And do you think the AMC short squeeze is taking away from the money that should be put into Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies? Do you think it's affecting the price of cryptos right now? Okay, so we're seeing a little bit of red in the crypto market. Nothing crazy. We have Dogecoin down 1.5%. Less than that, we have Bitcoin down almost 2%. Uh, looks like Dogecoin is headed to this level of support. A level of support. Generally, you will see a pretty big bounce. So this could happen. We could get a bounce here. Or if we continue to get some more downwards pressure, we'll probably break this level of support and head to about 29, maybe 28 cents. That's certainly in the cards but we have a high probability of bouncing off of this level of support and heading higher. So remember, I showed you guys this the other day, the SEC leaves Bitcoin and cryptocurrency off regulatory agenda, but they also go on to talk about they're gonna be focusing on short squeezing. So now the big hedge funds, the big money, they're trying to get people to stop taking money from them. They're trying to get the little guy from taking money from them, even though they've been taking money from us and from you forever. So we're gonna see what they're gonna be doing about that. Any type of bad news regarding that could really stop the short squeeze. I'm thinking people will get scared, pull their money out, but a lot of interest is in AMC and GameStop. Some of these meme stocks is pulling away from the crypto market cap. It's certainly pulling a lot of interest away from cryptos like Dogecoin, like Ethereum, like Bitcoin. But I'm telling you, once that AMC stuff dies down, if it does die down, I don't know if it will, but I'm pretty sure it will. We are all pretty sure that it will die down at some point. Uh, might be a week, might be a couple weeks. We don't know how long it's going to last. But if it does stop here pretty soon, a lot of that interest is going to start flowing into some of these meme coins like Dogecoin as they call it, uh, some of these altcoins, some of these inexpensive coins, and that's going to bring the crypto market up once the whole AMC thing is over with. All right, so Shiba Inu, everyone's talking about Shiba Inu because they were supposed to be listed on Coinbase Pro. I don't know if it's listed on Coinbase Pro right now, but as of yesterday, um, they were saying that they were experiencing technical difficulties and issues that they're not, they're most likely not going to be able to list Shiba Inu um, at the proper time that they said they were going to. This could change as I'm making the video now, uh, but hopefully here pretty soon within the next day or two. And my personal opinion about it, I have, I have nothing against Shiba Inu. Um, is it smart to invest in it? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but in my opinion, um, something that has a lot of hype behind it can really take off, especially when all of this money starts to flow back into cryptocurrencies, which I think is gonna be happening in July, maybe towards the end of this month. Then we're gonna to start to see a really big boom in cryptos. But around that time period, then we could probably see a huge takeoff with Shiba Inu, a pretty big blast off. So maybe putting a little bit of money, like 5% of your portfolio or less, 1%, whatever it is, maybe putting small little percentage of these little coins that have a really high potential to really take off might not hurt you. And just looking at the price, it actually looks really bullish. You know, we are headed down just a little bit because of the news that, you know, it's not gonna be listed. But the hype certainly brought it up, especially from the bottom, from June 11th to about 77% in just a couple of days. That is a really big, that's a substantial pump. Uh, we are headed down just a little bit. But I was looking and been watching the, the Shiba Inu chart for a while, especially in the live streams, and it wasn't really looking very healthy. It wasn't looking like it was going to have a strong recovery. But some good news can really affect crypto. So maybe a tweet from Elon Musk could do the same thing to Dogecoin or the crypto market again, as we saw. 
Elon Musk came out the other day and has brought the crypto market up to where it was just a couple of days ago. So I'm hoping to see maybe some good and positive tweets starting to come out from Elon, nothing negative here in the future. And if we can have that to happen, that'll certainly help out the crypto market for sure. Let me know what you guys think about that. But just looking at the Shiba Inu chart, it is looking bullish. Even though we've had a small retracement right here, uh, we could definitely get a bounce off this level of support, which is a double bottom. Generally, double bottoms are bullish, but you know, it's, it's the crypto market. It's the summer, things are kind of slow. We could head down a little bit further, but the chart is looking bullish. And I think when they announce that they fixed it, it'll probably bring another spike up to Shiba. Additionally, taking a look at AMC. AMC was looking bearish the other day, but here we are coming to test the level of resistance. So it's, it's starting to look a little bit of bullish, but we do have some difficulty here. Um, we did get rejected here a little bit, but having this small pattern, the small type pattern play out is looking very bullish for AMC. Um, we do other have, but looking at the chart overall, we are seeing an inverse head and shoulders play out. And this thing is absolutely looking bullish. Very interesting to see this. So this does continue to play out. This thing could certainly take off a lot higher. Uh, which would certainly continue to keep the interest in AMC. But when it does start to die down, maybe the SEC is going to try to regulate it. Uh, it might bring it down at some point. It'll, the fade, it will definitely fade away at some point, um, which will bring a lot of that interest back into these meme coins and these cryptos. Now, we're also going to be talking about the gold prices and inflation. But before we do that, if you want to be able to trade cryptocurrencies tax-free, use my iTrust Capital link, which is in the description below. And if you want to get four free stocks worth $4,000 using my link on Webull, just use that we use that Weeble link, deposit $100, they're gonna give you those stocks and you can immediately sell them, send them to your bank account or buy Dogecoin or cryptos or stocks with like AMC. All right, so look at the gold price. Gold has only gone up in a year's time, 5%. Silver has gone up 56%, which is interesting to see. But gold has only gone up 5%. You know, the, the US dollar used to be backed by gold and so forth. So people used to put their money in gold because it was a good storage of value, but gold is no longer a good storage of value. Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, these are the storages of value. That's why gold hasn't really done so well because people are starting to migrate to store their wealth into cryptos like Bitcoin. And if we take a look at Bitcoin, look year to date, Bitcoin is up 30%, yes, because we've seen a massive correction, but the, in a whole period of, in a period of time, we're still up 300% in about a year, a little bit less than 300% in a year's time. So Bitcoin is way outperforming gold by a lot, by a lot, and it's gonna continue to do so. Not only Bitcoin, but all of these cryptocurrencies. And look at the inflation rates. The inflation rates are going crazy. I showed you all this yesterday. The inflation rate is absolutely astronomical. And when the inflation rate is high, that is when more people are gonna jump into Bitcoin because Bitcoin and cryptos are a hedge against inflation. Bitcoin is deflationary. It can't, there's no more that can be made that are already there except through the mining process, but there's a cap. With the US dollar, they can print and make as much as they want, and that's why people are moving away from the dollar. That's why countries are starting to accept Bitcoin as their legal tender, because their dollar, their dollar is worthless. They keep printing, and things, just inflation just rises. So you're seeing these car prices, used car prices are out of control. Lumber is out of control. A lot of this has to do with inflation. It's gonna continue only to rise even faster, especially as they wanna print more stimulus. And look at AMC stock and the Google Trends. We are starting to see this thing head up, especially in the past 30 days. We see in the past 90 days, we definitely had a couple of spikes, uh, but it's starting to head back up again. And if we type in like Dogecoin, we are starting to see it kind of die off a little bit. Not only Dogecoin, but you know, Bitcoin and cryptos. We're starting to see a lot of the search volume die down. Part of it has to do with AMC. Part of it has to do with the crypto market crashing. So because things are in a, a bit of a bearish market for just a short period of time, it's not gonna last forever. It's not gonna be a very long time. Um, people have lost their interest and they're looking to make quick money. And those are the type of people that cause markets to go up really fast, uh, like with Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies. But I believe that this hype will come back here pretty soon, maybe in a few weeks, maybe in a month, a couple of months, uh, no longer than that. But cryptocurrencies are a major discount, in my opinion, that they have a lot of room to grow, especially by the end of the year. All of this good news is just coming out day and day and day again, but cryptos are still going down. So that shows you a lot of market manipulation. People with big money are trying to get you to sell your cryptos, are causing these panic sell loss. But these cryptos will probably be five to 10 times what they are now at the end of the year. So if you wanna get those daily trade alerts when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies, we make a lot of profitable plays in a short period of time. 
you want to talk to me on the phone, we can build you a portfolio, teach you technical analysis. Join the Patreon, which is linked in the description below. We can also join the Discord. Check out some of the other links that I have there, and I will see you all tomorrow.